long time no see. I haven't filmed a video in like a year. I don't even know. Since like Christmas, I think was my last video, which is pretty crazy. Um, if you watch my videos or you watch the last one, I was pregnant in the last one. Um, I am now no longer pregnant. I have a small person. Um, her name is Willow. She's going to be four months, like in the next two weeks or so. Um, a week from Tuesday, technically she'll be four months, but like, does anybody really care? Like it's not that serious, but I have her with me. She's sitting next to me. She's like really loud. She just like coos and talks to herself and is like hilarious. So, um, you'll probably hear her throughout this video. We'll do the best we can. I don't know. I tried so hard to film this during her nap and I got like everything situated. I got like everything ready. I had the baby monitor and then home slice was just like not having it. So you know, part for the course. It's pretty funny because before I had her, I had to like deal with my ADHD and my inability to like start tasks. And now I feel like I can do all the tasks. It's just, will she let me do all the tasks? So it's kind of funny. It's definitely um, a change. It's crazy to see like how much I've changed as like a person and as a mom and all that, but it's been fun. Um, I've really not thrifted at all. So um, me not filming videos is not necessarily like because of like my pregnancy and like Willow and everything. I mean, it is that I haven't thrifted really. Um, so I thought that I would be like really into like thrifting her all this like vintage clothes and vintage stuff, but I haven't wanted to. I've wanted to buy her like everything kind of like new and fresh and clean. I don't know what that's about because that's like not really me. But yeah, I've been really into like just kind of buying her all the baby stuff. So I haven't thrifted at all. And then like I felt kind of weird about bringing her into thrift stores because they're just kind of, you know, you know, they're kind of dirty. So I don't know. It's just been kind of weird. So um, we went to go visit my brother and sister-in-law. Like if you guys have watched any of my videos in the past, you know that that's usually where I find the most treasures. Um, we only went to a few thrift stores because mostly we were there to just like hang out um, for Willow to meet her nephew um, or cousin rather, uh, my nephew, and just like have a good time. But we did hit a few Goodwill, so I do have a few things to show you. Um, I also didn't want to buy like a ton of stuff. Mushes. Hi. I also didn't want to buy a ton of stuff because I've been terrible about listing. Like I've literally listed nothing since December. So um, I didn't want to buy like a whole bunch of stuff because I still have a ton of stuff to list from like the past, um, you know, hoarder life. So I'm trying really hard to like not be a crazy hoarder. So I only bought a few things. There's some stuff I bought for me and then some stuff I just couldn't resist for resale. So anyway, long story short, um, that took me like four minutes to start. So I apologize. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the loot that I got. Um, I'm also so impressed with myself because a lot of this is already listed on Etsy. So if you are interested in anything, it is in my Etsy, which is linked at the bottom of the video. So chef's kiss for that. Um, okay. So the first thing I nabbed for resale, um, is this ceramic dog like statue. So I saw this and I was like, Ooh, that looks Italian. And then what do you know? I flipped it over and it says Italy. Um, and I wasn't going to buy it because I was like, no, I'm only buying stuff for me. I'm not buying anything for resale because I can't be trusted to list it. And then I was like, oh, it's Italian though. Like it might be worth money. Um, so I saw another reseller had it up for about a hundred dollars on Etsy. And I was like, oh, I saw, so I sent my husband back in to go grab it. We know. She's so talkative, guys, especially since we've been on this trip to go visit. Um, my nephew is three and a half, and, like, she has just been, like, making her weird baby sounds ever since we got back. Like, so much more. It's, like, hilarious. Um, but, yeah. So, I made my husband go back and grab this just because... I was like, oh, it's Italian, it's cool, like, it's neat. Um, I think I paid $10 for it, so 
Um, their prices were a little higher than they have been in the past, which was a bit of a bummer, but mostly, mostly pretty much the same. And what's cool about these Goodwills is they still have jewelry. I didn't, I didn't find any, um, thing to buy, but our Goodwills got rid of the jewelry like a while ago. So it was fun to find like, you know, actually see a Goodwill that was like still functioning like a normal Goodwill. Um, then I bought these um, pottery goblets. I just thought these were so, so cool. They're like leaves. Um, and you can kind of see how they're like, the leaf is like holding the cup up. Um, so I bought two of them. Um, they're wheel thrown um, and then on top of like handmade pottery. So really cool, really pretty like iridescent glaze for them. <laughs> Can you guys hear her? She's hilarious. Um, they are also signed. Um, I could, I can never make out the signature on pottery. It's like, it's not one of my skills. I wish it was, um, but anyhow, I just thought they were cool. And it was a set of two. They had a bunch of like mugs and stuff, but I'm drowning in mugs. So I was like, eh, I'm not gonna buy, even though they were like cool, like pottery mugs that I'm sure would have sold i just like was like uh i don't know um i'm really really drowning in mugs <laughs> i think she thinks i'm talking to her because obviously i'm like talking to nobody um but willow you're funny did you know i have her in her little like bjorn baby bjorn like bouncer chair thing she loves that thing so she kicks like so much though and then sends it flying and I'm like, is this safe for you? You're like going so fast. <laughs> I don't know. Um, always got to pick up brass. I picked up two of these um, vintage um, ashtrays. I like, they're like the etched, it says India, like in the kind of like pointillism or whatever, where it's like in the dots. I love that because it's always a sign that it's an older piece of brass and the etching is really pretty, especially for ashtrays, because sometimes like they get really gross um, just from use um, and a lot of patina, and these aren't so bad. Um, but I I listed these on Etsy. I would sell them though, honestly, like or advertise them as like like ring dishes or trinket dishes, obviously, because not a lot of people smoke anymore. Um, so I don't know. I just thought they were cool. Mushy, hi. If she's like ruining this video, I'm so sorry, guys. If you can't even hear me over the baby, I truly apologize. Um, so yeah, those are listed. Um, oh, then I got this little Eiffel Tower. It's just like a little souvenir piece, but what I really liked about it is it's made in France, um, which kind of just makes me feel like it's an older piece, you know, like the newer souvenir pieces are usually made in China. So I just thought, oh, that was really cute. Just like a sweet little thing. So I just have that like in my kitchen. But it's not listed or anything. Hello. Um, then this little bohemian, it's, I believe it's supposed to be like a large shot glass actually, like do, like having done research on it. Um, it's like 1960s, um, really cool like hunt scene where it's like this guy and a horse and then there's like a bunch of flowers and birds and animals and the whole gamut and it's a really nice like really cool like kind of handmade glass um sort of imperfect but almost makes it more perfect because it's imperfect. I don't know, it's really cool. Um, I would I would use this as like a votive um, holder, like a candle holder, just because it, I would get more use out of it than like a shot glass, but you could use it, you know, obviously as however you want, but this is listed on Etsy, but I'm gonna definitely have it out until it sells because it's so pretty. I just love it. I thought that was really cool. I'm sorry guys, I really am. This is why I'm like the world's worst YouTuber. Like, but what's the point, right? Like literally, I film a video once a year and my small person ruins it. Success. Um, oh, then I got these really cool cordial glasses. They are Indian and they are 
silver plate. They're all marked silver plate, which is really cool. And it's hard to tell, but the um, little tray is like all etched, like in really pretty like filigree with flowers and everything. So I just thought this was really cool. It's a set of six. You could also use it as shot glasses too. Um, it would be like a really funny, like bougie way of doing shot glasses at a party. I don't know, I just thought it was pretty. Plus like, if you're not using the cordial glasses, like you can use the tray for something else. Like you could use the tray like as a vanity tray or whatever. And then like, if you wanted to use the cordial glasses, then pull the tray out. I don't know, I like things that have multiple uses like this. I just thought it was cool and pretty. Um, oh, so I think I paid $8 for this. Um, the cups were $3.99, so I noticed that it used to be $2.99 predominantly, so these were $3.99 each. And I think this was like $2.99 or $3.99, one or the other. Um, these were $1.99, which is not so bad each. Um, yeah. Then um, my husband found this like little box. He was like, I want this for Willow. So um, this is not listed. This is probably just gonna like go in our office upstairs. Um, it's my school box. It's really cool, um, sweet little thing. It's unused. Um, and I love that it has like my name, um, our school, I'm in grade, whatever, and my teacher is whoever. And then it has like a little picture of a school and it still has the Eckerd um, I love that it has like the Eckerd price tag for 39 cents and then like Goodwill wanted, I paid $10 for this guys, like <laughs> really Goodwill, <laughs> y'all are the worst, um, which is pretty much what it's worth if you look it up on eBay, but like, you know, it's fun to find it in the wild and, um, I, you know, didn't pay shipping, so whatever. Oh yeah, and the little school bus, that's so cute. I didn't even notice that. That's really, really, really cute. So yeah, um, we'll probably just keep that. Not really worth reselling because it's not really worth more than what we paid for it, honestly. Um, let's see, then I found these hilarious, like I have lost my dang mind, y'all, but I just thought this was so funny. So these are magnets, they're handmade, they're pottery, and they're also hand painted, which is really cool. But I love the idea behind this um, because you can hang this up in your kitchen and then like the magnets like come on and off. And you could put other magnets on here too, which is also really fun. Um, but I just liked the blue and white. I was like, I'm gonna list it on Etsy, but I'll probably like put it in our kitchen because our kitchen is like very 80s. Um, our kitchen is blue and white, but it's like 80s blue and white, not like good blue and white. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. Like, I don't know. Like I'm not a goose fan at all. And this is like horribly 80s and I'm not like an 80s fan either. Like don't hate me for saying that, but I'm really not. Um, but I don't know. I just thought this was like charming. Like the little kitty is so cute and each piece, um, each piece is signed, which is really cool. So, you know, do with that what you will. I don't even know what to do with this thing. Um, I got a couple more of these little Japanese bowls. I thought this one was really cool and definitely an older one. Um, neither of them is signed, but I feel like that actually makes them a little bit older um and they have like the gold rim they're just very pretty like they look really cool stacked they would be really really nice like an open shelving um I had another set of five of them that I sold actually and I wish I would have kept them all because I do eventually want to do like a little bit of open shelving and I think this would be so pretty like blue and white um, just kind of stacked on an open shelf. But since I sold those I'm also going to sell these so these are listed on Etsy um keeping up with my like desire to do open shelving i've been thrifting well i haven't been thrifting but my goal with this thrift trip mushy my goal with this thrift trip was to find some pottery because i do want to do like all like hand thrown pottery um pieces for the kitchen and as much like homemade like hand thrown pottery that i can find i've been I will always pick up just because it's fun to use and it just feels like very natural and like, I don't know, like organic. 
So I picked up this, it's a very amateur little piece, but I liked the size of it like a lot. And I liked this light blue periwinkle glaze a lot. Um, so it is signed, it says Ed on the bottom. <laughs> um, but I just liked it. I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Um, I'll use this for like dips or like sauces um but it just i just thought it was pretty really mostly and useful so you know useful vintage is always a thing so this i'm keeping for myself i don't think there would be much resale value in it anyway so this i thrifted for me and then along the same lines i also thrifted this pretty bowl for me um so this is really cool um it is signed um and it's dated 1994 so that is neat, it's in great condition. It's such a pretty, pretty teal, um, kind of like green color that I just love. And I feel like on a open shelf, like this would just be so pretty, plus it's so useful um, and just very well made. And this is just the kind of thing I was really looking for. So keeping this for myself along with the other little guy, this other little guy, um, and then I also found this really pretty um, Raku pottery vase. Um, this is also signed and dated 1999. Um, just beautiful. I mean, it really is so beautiful. This is listed in our Etsy. Um, I'm gonna be sad to see it go because it's gorgeous. Um, what's wrong, Lush? You okay? Hi. Oh goodness, guys, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think it's so pretty. I'm going to definitely have this on display until it sells. Um, but this is listed on Etsy if you're interested in it. I love like how squat it is. This is so pretty. I don't know. It's really cool. Mushes, what's wrong? What's wrong? You're not getting attention? Hi, Mush. Oh gosh, you guys, she's so loud. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, as far as a couple more things, oh, I found these really cool, um, 1969, um, Terra Sancta, um, bookends. So I've been snagging bookends, like, over the years whenever I can find them. I've sold quite a few, and now I'm, like, when I've been setting, I was setting up our office upstairs, I'm like, oh, I really wish I would have saved more bookends. Um, and we want to do built-ins in another room that we're working on in the house right now also. So I'm like, uh, need bookends. So when I found these, I'm like, okay, I really don't want to sell them. They're really cool. And they're just like so 70s. They say, um, Willow, Willow, Mushes, Willow, hi. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it says, remember it always used to be cabbage, like the bunny, she would be like ruining every video and now it's Willow. Um, every truth, no matter who speaks, it is of the Holy Spirit. And I just love the colors and the font and it's just really cool. Um, like I am a Christian, we're Lutheran. Um, and I just think, I just thought it was really cool. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep these for now. I might list another pair of um, bookends just to like even it out but I don't know I really kind of need them so I might keep them just because it is something that I need even though the house is full of things I don't need <laughs> I love you I love you I don't even know why I bother with this video right now guys um, then I thrifted one of these. This is like just been like a holy grail for me. It's one of the like, it's made in Belgium. Um, green glass, like kind of bubble container. Um, not worth very much. I was like so excited when I found this because I feel like this is like a cult favorite. And then I looked it up on Etsy and I was like, what the heck guys, this is not worth very much. Why is this such like a cult favorite? I think probably just because it's, it's pretty like aesthetically, it's really cool. And there's like a lot of fakes of it now. So it's nice to find like the OG. Um, but I'm so sorry guys. But anyway, um, I'm gonna keep it cause it's not hardly worth anything. Um, if you find like a set, then you're like, 
golden so I guess I'm gonna have to keep holding off until I find this set um but I mean I love green and it is really beautiful and I have wanted to find these one of these super bad so I'm gonna keep it because it's not really worth like all the effort of listing it we know Okay, I gave her her passy. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that like a million years ago, but maybe now we can get through this video. We'll see. Um, I barely thrifted anything. It's like the shortest video, but <sighs> mom life over here, like unsuccessful mom life. Clearly a new mom <laughs> over here failing at life. Um, then I thrifted this. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, it says juice. It's milk glass. It's not like anything special. So again, this is like for me. This is just because it will bring me joy when I open my refrigerator and see this in the fridge. Like I just love it. Um, and we actually have coconut palms um, that I made my husband like drill <laughs> open for me and um, get the like coconut water or whatever. So this would be a really cute container for the coconut water. Um, I have other containers I could put it in, but you know, looking for a use for this just because it's like so aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, so it's not worth a lot. Um, and I paid like $14 for it, which is really random. I didn't even look at the price when I bought it. I actually noticed the price when I washed it when we got home and I was like, oh, all right, Goodwill, y'all are being a little extra here. Um, but it's, which is pretty much like it's worth like maybe 25 bucks um, on eBay or Etsy, but then you gotta pay shipping and shipping for this would be expensive. So, you know, um, still worth picking up, still cheaper than buying it, um, you know, online, but just pretty, just pretty. So now I've got for myself. Um, a couple other things I get, I grabbed. Um, I found this really big wooden trivet so I just thought that was really cool. I have a plant sitting on it right now, um, but I love the size of it. So I'm not against selling it, but it's just super useful. So right now I'm using it um, and it'll probably get listed at some point, but I just really like it. I have a plant like right here and it's just like perfect. Okay, then I bought a set of books. Um, I just like, again, we, we wanna add um, built-ins into like her playroom that we're working on right now. It'll probably be like six months down the road before that happens, but you know, you gotta start now. You gotta, you gotta stock up now. So um, I found a set of five, yeah of five like antique well i guess they are technically antique because they're from the 1920s so cool um books i don't i did not look them up um but they're called the book house i just loved the spine and i loved the pictures um they were 12 dollars each they're not in perfect condition so i don't really know how much they're actually worth um but i figure that's not that bad when you think of the fact that like it would cost money for shipping, it's probably what they're like worth because um, they're not in perfect condition, but they do have a lot of art in them, which is always super fun. Um, and like colored art too, which is like hard to come by. This, oh my God, this is awesome, but also terrifying. Do you ever flip through old books and find stuff? Um, so I just like flipped through this and found this picture in it and it's really cool, but this, this, this is a little scary. I don't know. Wow. He's in a kilt, you guys. I don't think you can really tell. Maybe you can. And she's got like a fur on and gloves and that's cool. That's so cool. Um, so anyway, like the pages all have like pictures and stuff throughout. So um, definitely just like a cool find. Um, so I got this one 
Um, this one's obviously my favorite. Unfortunately, someone put like tape across the top at some point, which is such a bummer. Um, but I love this one where they're like hugging the bear. Um, this one. This one's really cool too. Look at that, is that so cool? Um, so they're from like 1920 to 1928. Um, what? Really, really cool. So I'll have to go through these. Um, let's see. We're missing volume one. I've got two, three, four, five, and six. So I just need to find volume one. So maybe I'll look for that online and order it. Um, and then we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, keeping those, there's probably no resale value in those. Um, and they're gonna be really cool like on our bookshelves. I love like having a set. Mushy. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. And then the last thing I could not leave, um, I paid $40 for it. So, you know, do with that what you will. But um, it's so cool. It's a, an original watercolor of the Champs-Elysees in Paris. Um, and it is signed by, I wanna say, I don't know. I think the first name is Pa, Pehiel? I don't know. Um, but the last name looks like Adont. Um, so very, very cool. But anyhow, um, it's probably gonna be a bit of a glare. Oh, it's not too bad. But anyway, how cool is that? I love the retro cars. Obviously, like you gotta love the Champs-Elysees. It's just beautiful. Um, and it's framed really nicely um, under glass and matted. Um, it was professionally framed, nice wood frame so i am gonna list this on etsy even though i really kind of want to keep it um i have never been to paris we've been to england um but as far as europe england is all i have been to so um my parents have been like a ton of times and i really 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 want to go and i feel like if we go i'm gonna want to keep this painting um but we'll see i don't know I guess I'll probably list it. I have so much art. It's so bad. But anyhow, um, sorry about Willow and her um, talking. But I am so thankful for everyone that kind of stuck around. Um, everyone that was asking if I'm okay. Um, I am in remission. So that is amazing. Um, and... You know, we're doing good. One day at a time. I am going back to work. Um, so... You know, if you pray, pray for me because I'm definitely nervous about going back to work after like almost five months off. So we'll see how we do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Um, definitely hoping to thrift a little more. We'll see if I'm able to, but I promise that as I thrift, I will always show you all the finds um, and keep checking out my Etsy because I am slowly but surely listing um, a lot of those old goodies from from the past. So if there's anything you had your eye on, like just kind of check out Etsy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. I figured you probably might want to see the little nugget who is making all the noise down here. So this is Willow. Hi, Willow.